What is up, King Kunta and Kunta, and today I'm bringing you another World of Warcraft Gold Farm video. And in today's video, we're gonna go over a few re or a few ways to use this instant respawn uh, trash fa trash farm to constantly pull yourself in greens and uh, black dragon scales, rune cloth, just tons of tons of good mats that can sell in the auction house quite easily. And uh, this farm is not very hard to do. Um, it's really all all you need is an ability that allows you to break combat. So what I mean by that is like if you are a night elf, you guys have shadow meld, I believe, and um, as you can see here, if you're a rogue or something like that, you have Vanish, which will allow you to break combat and remove out of aggro. So you need an ability that can do this. Or even if you're a hunter, feign death. But if you're a night elf at all, you already have this ability as a racial. And uh, it's located just in your spell book. It's not very hard. Um, also, you can see this here. Um, this is basically all you need. And then we're going to go ahead and show you on the map where we are at. We are at Black Rock Mountain in Burning Steeps, which is in the Eastern Kingdoms. It's quite easy to get to if you're Alliance. Uh, if you're Horde, I assume you have to use a portal of some sort. But as you can see, we're going to go ahead and we're going to enter this instance and we're going to enter Blackwing's Lair. Now, Blackwing's Lair is the farm or is the raid that actually has the farm in it with us. So if we go ahead and take a look here, we can see Blackwing's Lair is right there. And all you have to do is really just fly to this little like hole opening area and run through here. And then after that, you're going to be able to just to go ahead and just run all the way to the end of this dungeon. And once you get to the end of the dungeon, or end of this uh, little hallway right here, you're going to see a little orb, and then you just right click on that and hit enter dungeon. And once we're in the dungeon, I'll just tell you more and more about uh, how to do the farm and all that good stuff. So you just place your hand on the orb, and then it teleports you into the instance. Now, the beginning of the instance, there's a lot of lore parts to this raid. So in the beginning, you're going to see a bunch of eggs and a dragon and an orb. You basically just click on the orb, kill all the eggs after you take form of the dragon, and then the next room, you basically just have to listen to more lore, and then kill the dragon and keep going until you get past the uh, slow room. Once you're past the room, that slows you down completely. Uh, you guys are going to see the instant respawn farm. So as you can see, I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to go click the orb, and I'm just going to start getting through the dungeon. I'm going to cut the video uh, for you guys, because I know it would be stupid long if I didn't. So I'm going to cut the video here, and uh, we'll see you after we're out of the slow room. Alright, see you there. Which is uh, our break combat ability. As you can see, mine is Vanish, so I'm just kind of waiting for Vanish to uh, hurry up and reset. But... Uh, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and show you exactly what you're going to do once you get here. Now, it's long thought that mages are the best at doing this farm because these, uh, the Blackwing Spellbinders are immune to magic damage. So if you are a mage, you can literally pull the entire dungeon in AoE and these will not be killed because of it. Uh, which is quite cool and definitely a mage or droid or something along those lines is probably the way to go. Something with a non-physical uh, uh, attack. But today I'm going to be doing it with a rogue just to show you that it still can be done. So today we're just going to go kill that guy and then we'll kill him. Kill that guy. Leave him alive. So let's see here. I'll make sure I can get these all for you. So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys kind of the reset mechanic. Now, there is another kind of little trick uh, in this farm associated with it, and that is that uh, if you do have a skinning uh, character, a character with skinning, the black dragon scales that you get from this uh, instant respawn farm are uh, actually sell for a pretty petty on the auction house. They sell super, super good, and uh, it... it it's amazing. So definitely, if you have skinning, bring your skinner down here and have them, uh, you know, have them uh, skin all these black dragon scales and stuff like that. So we're hiding around this wall just so all the spellbinders and everything that's aggroed to us has to come right behind this wall. As you can see, they are all attacking me. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop my cooldown, and I vanished. And you see they're all missing, and then they all came back. And let's check in here. And they all respawn, it looks like. Yep. So they respawned in there, and then what we can do, since they did respawn already, 
uh, is we can just sure can storm these guys down. And that's really all it is to this farm. It's super simple. Uh, it's really just this method uh, constantly. And uh, I know I don't have, uh, you know, loot everything on or whatever. But so this is definitely the easiest way to do it. And as you can see, I literally just got a black dragon scale from there. Uh, let me see here. And uh, those are the prices on the auction house right now. So they're quite good. And it's definitely something that's worth picking up. And uh, yeah, so that's really it for the farming portion. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cut to Stormwind, and we're just going to go ahead and show you like uh, what items you could get out of this farm, the easiest way to sell them off, all that good stuff. Uh, because you're not going to re really get any super good transmog from here, but you are getting tons of black dragon scales, tons of greens, and just stuff that you can, you know, disenchant or something like that. So I'm going to cut the video now, and we'll meet you in Stormwind. All right, everybody, we're back in Stormwind, and uh, as you can see here, uh, I ran the dungeon a few times on my alt as well, so I actually have one uh, run of loot, basically, from the dungeon. Uh, as you can see, I have some black dragon scales. I didn't loot the rest of the black dragon scales from the rest of the dungeon, obviously, but as you can see, we don't have any super good uh, transmog pieces that we actually got. We really just got a bunch of rugged leather and stuff like that. So I highly recommend you guys have a disenchanter with this farm because you are going to get a ton of uh, bind on pickup uh, items. And the BOE items are just, they don't drop as frequently, I want to say. And it's just not, not as common. So you're, we're really kind of looking at the dragon scale, leather, and basically the disenchanting aspect of this farm. Because personally... I haven't found that I've gotten a ton of gold worth of transmog items out of this trash farm, but I have found that with disenchanting these items, I can actually increase the gold profit by tons upon tons because all the mats and stuff that I get out of these items, I'm basically putting straight onto the auction house. And I can't really show you any prices or anything like that, but I will tell you that the easiest way to go ahead and make profit on this dungeon is to be a disenchanter of some kind. Because you are just going to get tons and tons of mats, and people that are crafting uh, old transmog gear from back in the day and stuff like that are going to, you know, they're going to need this kind of stuff. So, and Cataclysm uh, mats are normally pretty easy to uh, go ahead and sell off the auction house, in my experience. And uh, that's really all there is to the farm. And I know there's not a whole lot, but I hope that I, you know, go ahead and I hope I portrayed it clearly enough for you guys to actually understand uh, how to farm it. And if you guys did like the video, uh, maybe leave a like uh, or a comment below, or maybe even subscribe uh, if you actually like my channel that much. And yeah, check out the links in the description. I don't remember if I said that already, but I've got all my computer gear and stuff down there. If you do want to check that out, it's up to you. And uh, yeah, so that's really been this gold farm for today. And I will have another gold farm for you guys out tomorrow, as always, because I've been doing daily uploads for a while now. And, uh, yeah, it's been it. So, also, if you stayed to this point, uh, I need you guys to comment, uh, let me think of something. I love sheep in the comments below. So, comment, I love sheep down below, and, uh, we'll go ahead and then I'll, I'll pin your comment or something like that. And, yeah, so we'll see you in the next one, and I love you all, and bye.